In one of the earlier videos, we looked at configuring OSPF between the VHS and the existing LAN. In this video, we will configure BGP between them. We will use the same topology we used in the previous video. I have already configured BGP on the downstream LAN devices. Let's begin. Let's check our VHS. Let's go to network. Let's go to VH1. Let's go to real time and check for BGP neighbors. And we don't have any BGP neighbors. So now let's go to VH2. And here too, we don't have any BGP neighbors. So let's go back to our templates and edit a template to configure BGP. So this is the template that is assigned to both of the VHS. So we'll go and edit that. Let's go to service VPN. I have this template already assigned, so we'll just configure the BGP template. Let's create a template. Let's call this PHVPN11 PGP template. AS number globally, I'm just going to use 665,000. Don't need to change any of these configurations. So address family I'll use as IP for unicast and we'll add a new redistribute statement for redistributing OMP routes into VHP. So let's add. Let's add our neighbor. So address should be device specific. So we'll just change to device specific and we'll just change the prompt. Uh, the remote AS I'm going to use is 1, so I'll just make it a global parameter. And I'm going to use uh, AS1 on both the VHS towards the LAN side. So I'm going to use address family as on, and I'm changing the address family to IP for Unicast. I'm not going to add any of these policies. Let's check the advanced options, and we don't need anything here. I'll just add. No advanced configs, so save. So we have a BGP template. So let's update the template and pass on the required parameters. So the neighbor address is 14.1.2 for VH1. And for VH2, it is 172.15.1.2. Hit next. OK. And just wait for the configurations to get pushed. Configurations is done. So let's go to network. Let's go back to VH1 and check for our BGP neighbors. And now we can see a successful BGP neighborship, which is at established state. Similarly, let's see in VH2. There we have a successful BGP relationship. Let's check the routes. Yeah, I do see a BGP learned route, which is 152.0. However, I don't see any routes learned from OMP. I should be learning 192.168.151.0 from VH one through OMP. 
that's because by default PHP routes are not distributed to OMP so we'll have to go and change our templates to allow redistribution of PHP into OMP so let's go back to our template and create an OMP template and let's create fresh OMP template let's call this VH OMP template Here we have not used any OLA AS number, so the Viptera fabric will not add any AS number to its path. And here we'll advertise PHP. And we'll hit save. And we'll update. And just wait. The template's updated, so let's go back and check. Let's go to VH1 and check for our routes. And now you can see that I have two routes learned from VH2 or OMP, which is getting redistributed through BHP. And similarly, if you go to VH2, I should see the VH1 land routes being learned over OMP. Let's check the BGP status on the land side device. So my land side device is again a VH router. So here I have a BGP neighbor, which is established date. So let's check the routes and I see routes learned from BGP. Let's check the PHP routes. And if you look at 152.0, it shows AS path as 65,000. We don't have uh, added any OLA AS. Uh, if an OLA AS had been added, you would have seen it as in the AS path. Let's do a quick ping check from one LAN to another LAN. And there we have a successful communication from VH1 to VH2 through BGP and then through OMP. Thus, it's very easy to use routing protocols to interact with the existing infrastructure. That's it for this demo, and thanks for watching.